Tom Bradshaw from Cruiser Customizing, Greg Beck from Tucker Rocky, with your episode two of Wednesday with Greg. So what's the topic of the week this week, Greg? We're going to talk about how to safely transport your motorcycle if you have to. So most of us don't care to tie our motorcycle down to a trailer or a pickup truck or anything like that, but sometimes it's necessary. Yeah, sometimes you, uh, you need to take your bike somewhere to get some work done on it, it doesn't run, or you're going to go on a trip and it necessitates having your bike on a trailer, who knows. So today we're going to focus on a couple items. The Condor Power Stand, those are your high quality and inexpensive version of motorcycle chalk. And we're going to talk about the Canyon Dancer and the High Roller. So to begin with this tip, let's go ahead and roll into the Condor so we can show people how simple that item really works. Alright, let's do it. The Condor is a really simple way to keep your bike upright without any tie downs. Take a look at this. Rolling, Rolling in is just that simple and then you can step off the motorcycle this allows your motorcycle to be in the upright position so you can properly use all of your tie downs and restraints. Now we have the motorcycle safely into the uh, Condor. Let me explain some of the benefits and features of the high roller bar restraint. This section is adjustable so if you have more than one bike you can adjust it to fit the bike properly. It also has a strap that goes around the bar and then you can pull down front or rear or both front to facilitate tying the bike down properly. If you happen to have bar end mirrors and you can't get a like a uh, end cap on, you can simply go around the bar and tie the bike down. High Roller also has a bar that goes across the bed of the pickup. If you didn't want to use a wheel chalk, the, the bar is designed to give you cutouts so that you can locate the front wheel and also keep the bed of the pickup from bending under multiple uses. There's a lot of different kinds of tie downs. The one I'm featuring today is the Bike Master. Um, it has the soft hook for connecting it at the top if you don't need to use the harness. It's one and a half inches wide so you have a lot of surface area for grip. And the nice feature is at the bottom it has the carabiner for positive retention and it pivots so it never, they never get twisted. Here we're showing the uh, strap facing backwards so if you had another location back here you could in fact have the front tied down and the back tied down and the wheel would not move. Now we take this go forward and go into the tie down and you have both of them captured like that. Join us next week for episode 3 where Greg and I talk about planning your trip appropriately and what you do in the dire event that you run out of fuel on the road.